Hi everyone, I'm JJ Ramberg. This month we are talking about company culture for our open forum viewers. Good company culture does not happen on its own. You really have to work at it. You really have to think about it. USA Today columnist Rhonda Abrams is the president and founder of Planning Shop, a firm that creates content about business planning and entrepreneurship. Her latest book is called Entrepreneurship, a real world approach. It's so good to see you. Nice to see you again. And you have been covering small business and entrepreneurship for, you know, forever. <laughs> for, for a very long time, and I know you've, you've seen the trends, you've seen the way companies have gone, and, and yet company culture has always been important. Well, and in fact, my second book, which was called Wear Clean Underwear, I spent a year looking at great companies and what made them, and really a major part of what made a great company successful was the culture that they built. So whether you're a large company or a very small company, what you want with your company culture is engaged employees who will take responsibility, who will go the extra mile, who will be loyal to you, mm -hmm. and really want you to succeed and see your success as their success. And that takes some cultivation. And, and a big part of that is that you want to see their success, right? They're not Absolutely. They're not just there to, to do your work for you. They, particularly now, want to feel like they're part of growing this. And, and you talk about share goals, not tasks. So you're not punching the clock. You're actually doing something for the greater good. So there's a wonderful story about people working on the Manhattan Project, which was building uh, the nuclear bomb, which was going to help save uh, America and, and end World War II. And they, at that time, they had to have human beings doing a lot of the calculations. If you've seen Hidden Figures, the movie Hidden Figures, yep. you see. And it was a very tedious task, and people were doing a very lousy job at it and making mistakes and not motivated. And they finally convinced uh, Oppenheimer, the man in charge, to tell them what they were working on. And it changed. And then suddenly, people were accurate, and they were working harder, and they were more motivated because they understood their goals. And by the way, I think this holds for the intern as well as your senior staff. Right. Everyone should try to understand what they're doing. So, so in my business, when my employees know that what we're helping people do is to realize their goals, to realize their financial aspirations, to realize their entrepreneurial dreams, that's a whole lot more important than just answering the phone and chipping out a book or something like that. And they feel the, the understanding of it much okay. more. All right, let's move on to the next one where you talk about giving authority, not just responsibility. Right. You don't want someone to say, okay, can you do this? And people to know, oh, she's just saying what someone else is telling her. We've all stood in line at an airplane, at an airline at the gate agent who can only tell you no. Yes. Right? They have no responsibility even on an empty plane to move you up. Employees are very frustrated when they have responsibility for something, but they can't make a decision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so empowering your employees to make decisions really enables them to feel ownership. And yes, sometimes they will make a decision that you wouldn't have agreed with or that you don't think was the right decision. But that's part of the development of your employees and the development of your company. And also then you talk about it, right? Absolutely. Then you talk about it. Let me hear where you were coming from. Let me explain where I was. Okay, going on. This one, incredibly important, um, find solutions, not blame. And this is about taking your emotion out of it. So I, one of my favorite sayings in business is, I don't care who made this mess, just clean it up. Uh -huh. But the part of that that most people focusing on is the, just is the just clean it up. But in fact, it's I don't care who made this mess, right? Because we look for blame when something goes wrong yep. instead of looking for... How do we all solve this? We're in it together. It's not about pointing fingers. It's finding solutions that we go, can move forward with. And we are always going to have problems in some business. Somebody's going to make mistakes. That's part of it. So looking at how we can move forward is much more important. Right. I don't think you're talking also about don't figure out what went wrong. And if oh. someone is actually to blame and they shouldn't be in your company, that's okay too. Or they need to be trained, what have you. But, but don't don't focus on that so much that you're missing finding the solution right and then and and you don't want to make it so that employees feel fearful all exactly. the time exactly they should and, be able to fail right okay they have to be you want to be able to fail in your business because we know how important failing is in an entrepreneur's success employees have to be able to fail a little bit uh, not constantly but a little bit but a little and finally just a simple thank you goes a long way just say thank you and it can be you know Every day at the end of the day, I say thank you to my employees. It's just little. Or if they do something, yes, it's their job, but they did it well or they did it with enthusiasm, just say thank you. Or by the I, way, just sort of a quick gift certificate for a free coffee or something. Absolutely. It goes really far. I, I used to do something where I'd give somebody uh, their favorite candy bar, 
when they did something. Just knows that you're it, thinking about it, them. With yeah. 79 cents or something, and they loved and it. And worth a lot. All right, Rhonda, I love seeing you always. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, JJ.